This is breaking news from 4 News Now. Good afternoon for 4 News Now. I'm Rob King. We begin the KXLY Plus Daily Rundown today with breaking news out of Boise. Lori Vallow has been found guilty of all her charges in a very high profile case that garnered national attention. She was found guilty of murder, conspiracy, and grand theft in which uh, her two children were killed and a third person was also killed. There is a co-defendant, Chad Dable, his trial has not yet happened, so attorneys could not comment much further as that trial has yet to take place. But again, Lori Vallow in a very high profile case was found guilty by an Idaho jury earlier today. So that's the breaking news that we begin with. We also have more details into the case at kxly.com. That story is on our front page and you can read that right now to find out more. Also police are looking for a man, 34-year-old Brian Willie. Now, this incident occurred yesterday in which Post Falls Police pulled him over in the city at an intersection. Uh, they recognized him as someone with a felony warrant out of Kootenai County. And according to the Post Falls Police Department, Willie hopped out of his car and ran into a nearby residence. Uh, the special response team was called out to ensure public safety. Uh, part of the reason Post Falls Police say SRT was called was that they say Willie had weapons and threatened to use them against law enforcement should the active felony warrant be served um, so when Willie ran then ran into the home a standoff occurred and after about uh, uh, quite a while authorities went into the home but he was no longer there so now they are asking you to keep an eye out if you do see him or have any information as to his whereabouts his uh, felony warrant was for failure to appear on drug charges, again, out of Kootenai County. So uh, you could contact any law enforcement agency, your local one, if you do have any information on Willie's whereabouts. Let's see what the team is working on today. Jordan Smith following up to a story we had yesterday in which a man was arrested, suspected of stealing uh, dozens of historical artifacts over uh, a, a couple month period, starting back in March. Now what happened was it's alleged that 57 year old Patrick Brown broke into display cases at Gonzaga University at the Performing Arts Center and took some of these historical artifacts that were on display there that that are pictured in this silver tea sets, salt and pepper shakers, earrings. And then about a month later, it was reported that Brown was at a cemetery and alleged that he stole a ring from a mausoleum. And around that time is when police located and arrested him. Uh, part of the problem is a lot of these relics are still missing. And authorities are asking anyone, if you have any information on them, uh, to please call law enforcement so they can be returned to their rightful owners. In addition, uh, we have a full article up on our web right now, kxly.com, which details all the stolen items that were taken. Police are saying they could be in pawn shops. You may have accidentally purchased one not knowing it was stolen. And uh, if you have, be aware, you can look at our website to see what among those items was taken. So Jordan Smith is finding out the latest in that case. In addition, Brown is a 23-time convicted felon, including about a dozen burglary previous convictions. So Jordan will have the latest on that. Natalie Grant. She was at Providence Health today where she got an inside look at their pathogen unit. Now this unit is unique to the area and one of the first of its kind that began around the pandemic uh, with Providence Health being one of the earliest hospitals to treat COVID-19 with these isolation units. So because the pandemic is now subsiding, no longer considered a national or worldwide emergency, uh, local media was given a nice tour of this facility, seeing how it works. So in case another airborne pathogen uh, begins to infect people, we now know how the uh, system works and how people get treated for this. So it could be, should be a pretty cool tour that Natalie got taken on and gets to see an example of how this unit works. Bronte Sorotsky, she was at Gonzaga University today interviewing a student. This is a uh, senior Sydney Rains. 
Now, last year, Rain's father passed away, but Gonzaga University doesn't have a bereavement policy for students, so she was only able to miss a week and a half of school, and following that, had to then catch up on all her work. So, Miss Rain's took it upon herself to formulate a bereavement policy, and that policy was just approved two days ago by the university. So, Bronte spoke with Rain's about coming up with that policy and why it is important to have this as an outlet for students. Closing out with a look outside. It's going to be a warm one today, nice and sunny. It's going to feel like summer above average temperatures as we stay in the mid 80s. You can see 78, 77 in Spokane, Coeur d'Alene. Warmer down south in the Lewiston areas and Tri-Cities, uh, but that warm heat will continue through the rest of the week. And in fact, Starting about tomorrow afternoon, the National Weather Service says we have an excessive heat watch that's going to continue through Monday. So they're warning residents in uh, Oregon and Washington to be aware of that. Make sure you're hydrating, taking breaks if you're working outside, and check on your elderly neighbors and loved ones, especially those who don't have air conditioning. Uh, this high heat is going to continue. Have a hat, sunglasses and uh, be ready to move indoors when you can. Here's what we're looking like for the next seven days. As you can see, it's gonna ramp up uh, into next week. Sunday and Saturday should be a beautiful weekend, but even warmer, we could start to touch the 90s next week. Uh, so be aware of that. Again, National Weather Service issuing an excessive heat watch. So make sure to have your water bottle with you if you are heading out this weekend. So that's all we have for today's KXLY Plus a Daily Rundown. Thank you for joining. Be sure to download KXLY Plus on your connected TVs. That's Apple TV, Amazon Fire, and Roku. You can also download the 4 News Now mobile app and turn on your notifications so you can be aware of the latest breaking news in your community. Uh, so we'll have all those stories and more coming up tonight at 5. But for now, live in studio, I'm Rob King for KXLY Plus.